Stage 3. Through a cave. Up a waterfall. Staircase. Why are there candles in a cave? It's like Dracula hired some candle guy to put all these candles up in the path to his castle. And there's Candle Guy's office, in a cave with all the unused candles in the game. Roman numeral three. Three crosses on screen at once. Now those crunchy splitting golems and bone towers offer some resistance. Most of the enemies die in one hit. You can whip them as soon as they appear on screen. This section's vertical. The screen scrolls up. You fall off screen, you die. And those whip hook those whip hooks seem strange. Best way to do the jump is to extend the whip, go through, physically through the platform. Jump into. And jump straight up. Like that. Oh yeah, that's a candle in the waterfall. Good job, candle guy. You know what Dracula gave candle guy in exchange for hanging up all these candles? Candle of his own. And the pocket watch. And he also gave him an 8 directional whip power that was supposed to go in the clock tower bathroom. But Candle Guy never made it because he fell off the stairs. Was never seen again. Speaking of falling off Dracula's stairs... Seriously, where do those crates come from?
If you like to see video game characters do funny walks, watch this. Moonwalk. Now this eight directional whip seems to me it doesn't belong in these levels. Those guys didn't stand a chance. He whipped their feet. Straight through the platform. boss of this level is a two-headed dragon, much like the bone dragons. It has 16 health, and his special attack is to breathe fire. And that's all for stage three.